Why did you get into real estate and what's your end goal? That's what I'm gonna be talking today. My name is Colton Lindsay with the WGR Academy uh, and the WGR brand. And one of the questions that I always ask myself is why did I get into real estate? And it's a lot like why you got in. Number one is it was for a financial increase in your life. And the second reason why you got into real estate is because you wanted lifestyle freedom. But here's what happened because there are five levels of a real estate agent. Level number one of a real estate agent is they just need to go make money. They need to set appointments. Number two is called the networking phase. This is where you start getting some money in, usually 50 to 150 grand a year. And now you need to build a network of raving fans. And then the third stage, which if you ever get to this stage, this is where most people never ever get to, but if they do, it's called the leverage level. They make about 150 to $300,000 a year. And this is where you have to get technology systems and human systems assets in place in order to go to the level four, which is the ownership level. This is why he really got into business. I'm going to be talking about this here in just a second. This is what the end goal is. This is where you have a leadership system of human assets that create leveraged residual income for your lifestyle. So you have a better financial situation and lifestyle freedom. And then the fifth level in real estate is becoming that owner level. That's where you can step out of production. You can step out and have leadership and people run your organization. So if you take 90 days off, 30 days off, you're still making money. I want you to think about this right now. If you took the next 90 days off, what would happen to the money driving into your business? Would it continue? Would it increase? Could it grow? Or would it die off? Would it stop? Now, the end goal here in real estate, number one, be a business owner. Most people are business owners operators, meaning that they're so important in the business that if they stop showing up, if they stop coming to the organization, they stop doing, the majority of the income stops. Now, you might take 90 days off and the income drops a little bit, but if you take 90 days off and it completely disappears, you don't have a business, you have a job, you're a business operator. The ultimate goal though is to become a business owner and you do that through two different ways, growth and contribution. How we measure that, number one, is through a level of achievement. And when I got into real estate, I didn't know the roadmap. I didn't know where I was. I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know what to follow. That's why I created the five levels of a real estate agent that I teach on all the time. And I help mentor people like Kayla Lindsay, who I mentioned uh, in another video today. She went from 130 grand a year to $800,000 a year in 36 months. Or James Michener from 75 grand a year to $1.3 million. Some of our, our clients are now at that business owner level where they're making five, six, $700,000 a month inside of their business because of this. They realized that there was a level of achievement. And number two is the name of the game is to pay money into your account. Like you don't grow your life and your business and your finances unless you are making money, driving it into your business account. Then the next step after that is you have to be a real business owner, manage the expenses, cash flow management, tax-free wealth, do all these things that then actually create even more freedom. And I want you to give you my definition of financial freedom. It's where your leveraged residual income pays for your desired lifestyle. You have to have the residual revenue to pay for your life, where you live, where you travel, how you travel, the foods that you eat. And if you can do that through a leveraged residual income, you can create freedom. But if you stay at the business operator where you actually have to do everything and the majority of the income relies on that, you will never become free that way. Now, how we do that, there are six basic human needs that drive us individually, but we have to really bring these into our business. Most people, why they get stuck in the business operators because they're driving out of significance and they're driving out of certainty. And it's because their level of achievement financially with their results and what they're doing becomes about inflating their ego to feel the one basic human need or fear, I should say, that we all have, and that is the fear of not being enough. To whoever it is, you need to prove that to. And so then this becomes a giant significance-driven industry. What I'm recommending, though, is you focus up here on growth and contribution, where you're so focused that you can comfortably grow in the uncomfortable space, in this idea that I trust more in the abundance of the unknown than I do in the certainty of the known. That will force new breakthroughs, new growth, new hires, new revenue, and new level of freedom. But the other part is you gotta contribute. See, my job at this point is to add so much freaking value to other people's lives when they come to me, I freaking charge them, I monetize them. How? We help them buy or sell a house. 
We hire them into our real estate sales team. We put them into our, our academy sales uh, system. We, we put them into our real brokerage downline and we partner with them. There are multiple ways that you could be able to make sure that you can monetize your network. But it doesn't matter if you can't go contribute and add value. So a lot of people ask, well, Colton, how can I learn more from you? Well, a couple things I have coming up. I've got a three-day challenge coming up here soon. I do one every single month. You can get on my next three-day challenge or we've got a webinar. We're gonna be training specifically on this as well. The other way that you can learn more about it is schedule a business strategy conversation with one of my advisors. What this call is, is we're gonna identify where you're at in your business are you a business owner or operator? You're probably an operator. And then we're going to identify what level you are in the five levels of an agent. And then we're going to help you paint a roadmap and give you some options so that you can actually work towards becoming a business owner. I don't want to lie to you. Tell you you're going to tell you you're going to make that happen overnight. It doesn't happen overnight. But over the next 36 months, absolutely, you can go from being brand new in real estate to having a real ownership where you're not in the sales production, where the, the listings and the buyers and the revenue does not solely rely on you and you can step out of production and move towards seven figures. And really, this financial freedom that got you into real estate in the first place right here, the financial and lifestyle freedom that you want, you can actually get that really fast. The old idea was go to school, get a job and retire and take like 30, 40 years to do that. You don't have to freaking take 30, 40 years to retire supposedly or become what I call financially free. You can do it in five years. And the other lie that you've been taught is that it happens through passive income. Passive income is bullshit. It doesn't really exist. Everything requires attention. I got all my rental properties and I look and I was about $100,000 in revenue from rental properties this last year. Still requires attention for me to look at the P&L, for me to talk to the manager, for me to make decisions. So nothing is fully passive. It's just higher levels of leverage. And the quickest way to create real wealth, real financial freedom, where you can step out is through a business asset. And if you're in real estate, you gotta do it. You gotta build a business ownership type business so you can step out of it and actually have an asset that worth something that actually creates freedom that you want with your life and your income. Uh, and as, as we look at this, you have to then begin to determine, well, when would now be a great time to act? And I can help you do that. So get on my next webinar or my next challenge. Just reach out to me. Let me know. You want the link for it. It's free. Also, the business strategy session, what we're going to do is we're going to give you some options. So it's not a big sales pitch, although I will have my team offer you a product. That's how we make money is we sell. Remember, that's the name of the game is put money in the bank. I do it with my business, and that's what I teach you to do as well. But in that call, we're not going to try to get money from every human being. That's not our objective. We have an ideal client, a target person. So if you're this person, you're coachable, you ask for feedback, you show up, you engage, you want help to grow to that next level in your business, you want to be actually creating real wealth and real financial freedom inside of your business and in your assets that you're investing in, then that would be the ideal customer we can help. If you are lazy, if you don't like to work, if you are full of drama, if you're entitled, if you're dishonest or lack on this authenticity, which is huge, like if you're building a business based off of significance and certainty, you probably are not a fit for us. You just aren't. So if you want to be able to help, have help with this, make sure to let me know. I'll get you a link. You can schedule a strategy session with my team or join my next webinar or my challenge. Thanks. Peace out. We'll see y'all later.